The SEPS Initiative is a charitable public arts organization based here in Toronto. Uh, we use art to engage people in urban design issues and to really bring vibrancy into public spaces that aren't often thought of as cultural space. We're standing here today at, the, at One St. Clair West at our new mural. Um, we're really excited to have partnered with Flem on this project. He's a celebrated artist from the UK. And um, this, has, this project has been a culmination of working with many different stakeholders, um, the property owner, Slate Asset Management, the City of Toronto, who's been instrumental in supporting the project, as well as many other sponsors based here locally. I think it was pretty serendipitous that we had this canvas and we found an organization that had the relationships and, and the experience and the knowledge to do something with it. We purchased the building behind us almost a year ago and saw you know, a giant blank wall and it needed, it needed something. And uh, that's what led us to, to steps. This neighborhood, this, this intersection has been overlooked. For, for decades and it, and it needs a shot of some, some new life, new energy. This wall behind us was kind of the, the best opportunity to make a big, bold statement as kind of the, the leading edge for what I hope will be a number of, of similar initiatives to improve the public realm and, and the streetscape here. It's something our whole office is proud of. This is one of our signature projects for 2016. It has involved over 200 community surveys, asking people what they thought about this neighborhood, um, what are some important aspects about the neighborhood that they felt would be important to be reflected in public art project, uh, and how they would like to see their, their community develop. It's one thing looking at a small image um, that it would have the same amount of detail, but to see it um, amplified in this way, it, it's really astounding and you can just totally get lost in it. CBRE is a proud supporter along with our partners Steps Initiative and Slate Management to revitalize uh, and build a beautiful mural here at Young and St. Clair. Private companies, real estate companies, we know that our clients aren't just worried about the four walls in which they operate. It's all about neighborhoods, culture, amenities, and this mural is really adding to the vitality of a neighborhood. They're creating something new. It's not just public art, it's public art at a massive scale. It's going to draw people from across Toronto. This is one of the top street artists in the world, uh, and I think we're going to expect tourists and Torontonians at large to come and take a look. What excites me the most about it is that it's very tall, it's very visible, and the fact that uh, uh, an artist from the UK, Flem, has come over here to do it for us uh, is really cool. So uh, it, make, it, makes, it makes Toronto feel a little special. That's what I like about it. Flem is super patient and he's very much willing to kind of show and, and guide. And I think for me, it's, I've been really blessed to be in the position to take that with such greatness. I feel so thankful. So it's been amazing. And what's so lovely is that when you look at this mural from a distance, you see somebody in a fetal position. But then when you look close at it, you realize that it's buildings, it's ravines, it's what really makes the heartbeat of a city. There's going to be a lot of discussion about the piece, and I think quite honestly that's what makes street art so important, is that not only should it be decorative and beautify an area, but it really should compel people to discuss what, what neighborhoods and what public art in particular means to them. You're not going to be able to miss this mural. It is definitely going to transform the way that Young and St. Clair looks and feels. And it's a direct reflection of what local residents and business owners have shared with us about what they feel about the community. So different landmarks that, that they've identified um, that really make them think of home when they think of Young and St. Clair. I'm convinced it really will serve as sort of the iconic symbol for a neighborhood's remarkable revitalization.